Good morning, ladies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. Well, this morning, I want to talk about a wise woman of God, a wise woman. We see so many silly women out here in the world today, and we don't want to be a silly woman. A lot of us have played that role before, and we be honest with ourselves, we have been a silly woman. It is not because we wanted to, it's because we was unprepared. You know, if we didn't get, pre get prepared by our mothers, our fathers, you know, society didn't prepare us. We just was unprepared to be a wise woman. So, babies, you're not at fault, but you need to learn better. You should desire to want to be wise. You should desire not to walk in your own ways, but walk into, in the ways of God. You want to be a wise woman. And some of the ways that would determine if you're a wise woman is these traces here. It's a whole lot of traces, but I just want to give you a few to make the video short. I don't want to go in depth or take a long time because I know a lot of people's tension span is short today. But if you want truth and you want to live your life the way that God wants you to live it, you will take the time to build up yourself. You would do the self-development on yourself. And I want to give you the tools so that you can do the self-development. So you can stop making wrong choices. So you can stop being miserable and sad and unhappy and depressed. You know, a lot of you have been crying out for that. And this is one of the ways that you're going to stop being and feeling the way that you feel. Frustrated and angry with your life because it's not going the way you want it to. You want to be a wise woman in the eyes of God. A wise woman builds her house. Not tear it down. You build it. You're not going to do things that's going to destroy your home, especially as a married woman. But you're going to learn this as a single woman. You're going to build your house. You're not going to allow people to come in your life that's going to carry you on the path away from God. You're going to build, not tear down. So many women are tearing their houses down today with this, with their actions you know, not being the woman of God that God has designed them to be. They are tearing down the house. Ladies, you want to build your house. A wise woman builds her house. She acts quickly and decisively. How many women don't know how to make a decision quickly and decisively? They're tossed to or fro. They're asking their friends. They're asking their mom. They're asking their neighbor. They don't make decisions quickly and decisively. They're tossed to and fro with their decision-making process. They don't know if I'm making the right decision, if I'm not making the right decision. No, a wise woman will make decisions quickly and decisively. Right on point, you'll make that decision. You won't be tossed to and fro. She never makes choices on her feelings. Ladies, we have got to learn how to not live in our emotions. I got a whole chapter in my book that I'm writing towards our emotions. Ladies, this is one of our major problems, major reasons why we wind up in some of the situations that we wind up in is because of our emotions. We need to stick to the word of God. You need to know the word of God and what he says to do. Don't go with, oh, I feel like this is the right thing to do. No, what does God say on that situation? Don't live out of the seat of your emotions. Don't make decisions based on your emotions. Your emotions will lie to you big time. Big time. Your emotions will lie to you. How many of you have been in relationships out of your emotions? Didn't they lie to you? He wasn't a man. He was a little boy. But your emotions were telling you, I love him. I'm going to stick. Don't go with your emotions. Go by the word of God. If we stick to the word and what the word says, we will make better decisions. We'll be more quick and decisive about our decision-making process. And I am practicing that in my life right now. And it's sparing me a lot of issues and a lot of heartache because I am listening to the word of God, not what Stacy feels in her emotions. Our emotions are fickle. And you know, ladies, a lot of you are up and down. One moment you feel happy, the next moment you feel sad. A lot of you bipolar. You're extremely happy, you're extremely happy, you're extremely sad, you're extremely sad. You don't want to be like that. That's part, part of that bipolarness is living out of your emotions. When you get control of your emotions, you'll get control of your bipolarness. Get control of your emotions. See why you're feeling what you're feeling. 
And a lot of times it's coming from what you're thinking. Whatever you're thinking is setting the atmosphere for your actions and your feelings. Babies. A wise woman prepares for the future. She prepares for the future. She raises her children to follow God. She accepts the truth. How many women you tell the truth and they don't want to accept it? They ask all kinds of questions and they want to hear the truth. They claim it anyway. But when the truth comes, they don't want to hear it. They still go back and do the stuff that ain't the truth. <laughs> you know, so accept the truth. A wise woman accepts the truth. And she adjusts her life and her action and her ways towards that truth. Accept the truth, ladies. She's not into gossip. They don't build. Wendy Williams is a show that's. I, I stopped watching that show. I watched it in the beginning. And God said, look, this whole show, the whole platform is built on gossip. Gossip. God don't want us women to be of gossip and slander. How many of you don't lost girlfriends because of gossip and slander? How many? Good relationships, but because of gossip and slander, you don't lost your relationships with these women that God has placed in your life. And just forgive one another, because we got to forgive 70 times 70. She spends her money on fighting things that matter. She spends her money on the right things. Not just going out here buying Gucci bags and, 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 and going out here buying Louis Vuitton and going out here buying all the expensive perfumes and all that kind of stuff. You're going to use wisdom with your money. You're going to apply your money to the right things. You're not just going to go out here and just want to shop, shop, shop till you drop. You're not going to want to go out here and just shop and do retail therapy. God is your therapy. Not shopping. <laughs> That's a spirit behind that. Not going out here spending your money on frivolous things when you know you got bills. Then you don't spend all your money and then your bill is due. Then you stressed out about, oh, I'm going to pay this bill. You paid the bill when you went out there and bought that Gucci bag. <laughs> when you bought that Michael Kor. <laughs> when you bought that Dooney and Burke. <laughs> you spent your bill money. Babies, use wisdom with your finances, ladies. And more so now, this time now, we need to learn financial literacy. I know I'm in the process of it. We didn't learn it as kids, especially in my age group and my generation. You know, you learn your financial traces from your family, from the environment that you was in, or from friends, or from just the stuff that you experienced in life, or information that came to you. And a lot of us didn't have information on finances. So, and if you didn't have parents that was good with finances, it's hard for you to be able to use your finances the way they're supposed to be used. You don't have the wisdom with it. So, ladies, get financial literacy so that you can use your money on the right things. It's okay to get some things that you like, but we want to use wisdom. We want to use wisdom. That's part of planning for the future. Never will get with the wrong man or have kids with the wrong man. You know, this comes with maturity. <laughs> a wise woman will not get with a little boy. You will know a man when you see him. You will know a man of God. This is a wise woman. A wise woman knows not to go with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. That's a wise woman. That's a wise woman. A wise woman will get a man that is established in God and in the natural. Not just going around talking about I'm his rod or die and I'm holding him down. No, he needs to be able to take responsibility. Do you know, especially as African-American women, a lot of us think that we're doing something because we're sticking with our man when he ain't got nothing. That's fine and dandy. But we need to have some requirements of these men. Even some of the other races are doing the same thing. That's a silly woman. That gets these little boys that don't even want to take responsibility for himself. Ladies, we will not, a wise woman will not go out here and get a little boy and allow him to father children with us that he can't take care of. That's a silly woman. Babies, this is just a few examples of a wise woman. And I will come back and revisit this topic. But ladies, we want to be wise. We want to build our homes. 
We want to be wise with our finances. We want to raise our children up in the admiration of God. And babies, you can see now that they need God more than ever. When they leave home and go to the school systems now, they're in warfare. We need to raise our children in the admiration of God. Even if they grow up, like the word said, they may part from it, but they will come back. I'm a living witness for that. It may seem hard on them now. You teach them about God. They don't want to receive. But leave me at the right time. The word and the seeds that you plant in them will get a harvest. It will get a harvest. Babies, just seek God for wisdom. For wisdom. You know, everybody teaches on the Proverbs 31 woman. That Proverbs 31 woman, she does a lot. But she holds the fork down. You don't want to be like the five foolish versions. You want to be like the five wise. The wise versions had oil in the lamps. They were prepared for when the bridegroom came. But the foolish versions was not prepared. Ladies, you want to be prepared for life. Whatever life throws, you want to be prepared through the word of God, through the ways of God, through doing the things of God. You want to be a wise woman. You don't want to be a foolish virgin. You don't want to be a foolish woman. Not having your all in your lamp, not prepared. Babies, God loves you and so do I. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And choose to be a wise woman. Choose to be a wise woman. You know, when you know better, you do better, as that poem says with Maya Angela. I love that. I believe in that. A lot of us, we didn't know no better, so we made the choices that we made with the information that we had. But once you know better, do better. And forgive yourself. Don't beat yourself up because you was a silly woman. Just say, from now on, I'm going to be a wise woman. Wise woman. Doing the things of God, walking in his ways, having the mind of Christ, being a wise woman. Wise women of God, I love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Smooth as sugar, wookers.